Our coverage of CES 2025 is brought to you by Alison and Hushed. Now, let's get on with the show. CES 2025 is almost over, but we have still so much to go through, including right here at the Palazzo, it's all of the Zotac stuff, with, of course, the start of the show being the brand new RTX 50 series graphics cards. There is a couple of nice touches with this one, including the Infinity Mirror on the side, which is why this series is called Infinity, but there's also a couple of other things. For example, the fact that pretty much everything you see on this card can be controlled, customized with all of the RGB zones. Even all of the fans can be individually controlled if you want to really change their behavior and fan curves as well. The other little touch they have is this little light at the top. I wouldn't blame you if you'd miss it. It's kind of difficult to see. It doesn't really say what it's about, but what it's supposed to indicate is if you've actually plugged in the 16 pin power connector incorrectly because we all know the price you have to pay if you don't plug it in correctly. So that little light is just going to be green if it's plugging correctly, red if it's not. The card itself is actually a bit thinner than the last generation card. However, they aren't actually able to share too many details about how much more difficult it is to cool Blackwell when compared to Lovelace. All of that is still in the and whatnot. But it isn't actually that much bigger or anything, and because of the cooling system itself being more efficient, it's still kind of a net win when it comes to uh, both size and cooling efficiency compared to Lovelace. Now let's get a bit more hands-on about how big these cards are. So this is pretty much just what we saw, but in the RTX 5090 variant, what you saw in that case over there is a 5080. So this is what a Zotac 5090 is gonna look like. Absolutely ginormous, but again, nothing too ridiculous when you compare it to, say, the RTX 40 series. Then we do get a bit smaller over here, and because this is the solid version, as you can see, it doesn't have the Infinity Mirror, it has a bit less RGB. It's supposed to be the more, well, it's still, you know, factory overclocked and whatnot, but it's still supposed to be the more affordable one if you don't care for all those extra fancy bits and bops over there. If you really wanna go small, then you have the 5070 Ti here, which is, well, comparably kind of tiny when you compare to some of the bigger ones. And then if you want to get even smaller, the 5070. Now, this one right here, it uses a triple uh, slot design right now, but that is literally just because it's kind of a prototype. It will be just proper dual slot. As you can see, the cooler design itself is just dual slot. So this is just some like CES prototype stuff. If you're traveling abroad and need a cheap data plan, then nothing beats AlloSim, and it can be even cheaper if you use the code of Runner for three dollars off. Meaning you can get a week's worth of data for your travels for as little as one dollar fifty. And while you're at it, why not make use of Hush's excellent lifetime phone number deal, offering a foreign phone number for just twenty-five dollars for life. So check these out down in the video description below. And maybe check out a patron as well. Plus huge thanks to Gavin Burns, just Rage, Elavroniak, Balazs Volker, Patrick Harrison, not a pseudonym, Maxumna, Shane Allcroft, and Level Up.